show you this. <laughs> you might be interested. This is a it's a heat exchanger um, bonnet. Um, it's a bonnet because it doesn't have a channel cover, right? So let's not call it a channel when it's a bonnet. Please let's uh, let's remain professional. So this was in uh, reformer service, and uh, it's been changed to a, uh, a curved unit vacuum unit sort of uh, process. Anyway, you see it's got a real heavy. Uh, flange on it, but uh, it's actually not needed for the uh, current service. But this is what I wanted to show you, because, um, you know, standard uh, standard process degree and uh, hydro blasting prep for inspection. That's not what uh, is cool. What's cool is what it looks like. This is not a very big exchange. operate in a series of three like so many of these do so there's three of them and an A a B and a C and uh, over here is its sister and uh, if I look in here that there's that same well uh, and there is a little bit of undercut that's also exhibiting uh, preferential corrosion so, the same way with the girth seam. The girth seam is showing that same preferential corrosion at the well. So, here's what a well would look like without any undercut. And notice there's very minimal corrosion. No preferential corrosion, and no corrosion at the undercut. And if we look here, here's one. This one, I believe, has been repaired because it has what looks like a, a stick weld um, well uh, on the uh, pass partition plate. It also has some corrosion. Now, not just in the uh, heat-affected zone of the gersine, because here's the gersine here, and yes, there is a little bit of corrosion at the edges, but not really preferential. I actually think it was under that. Um, it may not have been hard to tell. Also has some pitting both in the weld. Notice here, there's the girth seam, the, the, the weld seam, and there's pitting in the weld, but the pitting is as deep as the basement. 
Notice right here though, there's the long seam um, of the thing. So anyway, it was just uh, something I would thought I'd show you. Oh, here's another one. Um, preferential corrosion at the weld zone at the edges of the pass partition plate to the uh, flange of the bonnet. Remember, this is a bonnet, not a channel, because it has a non-removable head with a two-to-one elliptical instead of a removable flat blind plate. Let's not call them channels if they're not channels. They're bonnets from the uh, old-time hats that women used to wear covering their hair. Uh, bonnets. Head, not a removable channel up. But anyway, just thought you'd want to see that. Um, there's this, the weld seam of the, this is the inlet nozzle. Um, a little bit of corrosion at the, the weld zone area. Not um, an appreciable um, amount of corrosion compared to the rest of it. Not that it doesn't have corrosion, it doesn't have any more corrosion than what we would see. Uh, notice that the pass partition plate is not corroded. These little spots here, that's just flash, um, flash rust bloom. We uh, rub on those, they come off. That's how we know it's just stained. See that? Uh, if I rub them, they just come right off. So it's not, it's not. Um, a significant amount of corrosion. So if you're looking at this, you got to be real careful because if a layman looks at it, they would think it's quite corroded when in fact, no, there's no significant pitting um, on some of these surfaces. Minor pitting, but, you know, pitting 20 mils deep on something this thick. Um, I would point out that this thing is measured 0.95, so almost an inch thick in freedom measurements. This thing has a significant amount of, of uh, metal. In fact, here's something that might be kind of cool to some people. This is the nozzle neck. Um, it's actually the repad to um, shell weld for the bonnet. Notice the width of that weld. Um, that's almost two inches wide. That's what we, in the industry, um, used to, uh, uh, still do call a weave weld. Um, both the nozzle neck to repad and repad to shell welder or welded like that. Very wide, very robust weld. And this is uh, this is uh, an indication of how it used to be done. Uh, and they're they're. All of them like that. All three of the ones in a series are are like this. It, uh, here's one that's it hasn't been butterflied. It's still a weave. Notice that the weld is straight across. It was welded in a series of horizontal passes, left to right or right to left passes, as it was welded. It survived fairly good. You know, these in reformer uh, service operate at very high temperatures for normal carbon steel. And as a result, you see a lot of, of surface corrosion. It's still minimal in that, uh, interesting here is see the weld on the head has actually been um, ground smooth. Uh, so that there's actually a slight dish here um, in the head to shell to be a side profile show that a little bit better. working here with limited camera. But uh, notice that the, uh, the weld for the flange neck to the body had also been similarly profiled. Kind of an interesting uh, finish, especially given light that they had weave welded to the repack and left it uh, as welded condition. Anyway, Thought uh, you guys might get get uh, uh, find some value in that. Um, yeah.
So thanks for watching. Take it easy.